I Vikas Nehra welcome you all to our live Linux training for members. This is session number 25 and in this session we will talk about the file links that we use in Linux. An average computer using Linux has a file system with many hard links and symbolic links. To understand links in a file system you first have to understand what an inode is. So if I talk about the inode, an inode is a data structure that contains metadata about a file. When the file system stores a new file on the hard disk, it stores not only the contents of the file, but also extra properties like the name of the file, the creation date, its permissions, the owner of the file, and many more. All this information except the name of the file and the contents of the file is stored in the inode of the file. Let me show you if I execute the ls-l command. So I am displaying the files which are there in my home directory and here you can see that there are a lot of informations available about these files like the permissions, the number of links, the owner, the group owner, the size, date and time of modification, and the name. Except the name of the file and the contents, everything, whatever is there, that is stored in the inode of the file. And how can we display the inode? We can execute the ls-li command. So there, it displays one number. This number is called the inode number of that particular file. And there is a limit for each and every file system in our machine up to how much inodes it can store. The inode table contains all, actually the inode table contains all the inodes and is created when you create the file system. And you can use the df-i command to see how many inodes are used and free on the mounted file systems. So here you can see that there are different inodes available. Some are free while some are in use. So this capacity depends on the value or the size of the file system and it is created when, we, when you create the file system. In the df-i screenshot, which you are seeing right now, you can see the inode uses for several mounted file systems. You don't see numbers of some file systems if they are in the FAT file system. Okay, now let's proceed further. Now we will talk about the inode number. Each inode has a unique number. You can see the inode numbers with the ls-li command as I shown you. After the ls-li, if you will write the name of the file, it will not only show you the details like the permissions, the links, the owner and the group, but also it will show you one number in the very first column. This number is called the inode number. And each and every file in Linux has its own unique inode number. Whenever we create a file, an inode number is assigned to it and when we delete a file the assigned inode becomes free. Same you can use for the to see the inode numbers of the files which are there in my current working directory that is my home directory. So if I will execute ls li command it will show you the inode numbers for each file or directory that is there in my home directory and these are the inode numbers in the very first column. inode value does not depend on the data. Suppose we have a file here names.txt. This is the file and this is the inode number of this file. If we will add some data there in this file then there will be no changes in the inode. Let me show you. Let me write here Vikas Nehra and let me save this file and let me 
display the inode number of this file one more time names.txt and here you can see that there is no change in the inode in the inode number now let's proceed further now we will talk about the directories a directory is a table when we execute the ls hyphen l command or ls hyphen li command you will find that two files are present let me include the hidden files as well so let me execute ls hyphen ali command there you will find two more files in each and every directory this dot represents my current working directory while the double dot is there for the parent directory of this directory and there are inode numbers assigned to them so these files are actually there to provide or to let the system know about the path of the directory a directory is a special kind of file that contains a table which maps file names to inodes listing our current directory with ls hyphen ali will display the contents of the directory file you can see these dot and double dot files present in each and every file the dot is a mapping to itself and the double dot is a mapping to the parent directory now let's proceed further now let me show you how can you create the links first i will show you how can you create the hard links and after that i'll show you how can you create the soft links so let me move to the tmp directory and let me remove everything from there first and after that i will create a file here so i'm going to create a file where i will copy the calendar of this month and the file name is cal.txt let me show you the inode number of this file this is the inode number of this file and i have copied the calendar of the february 2021 in this file now i will show you how can we create the link there if you will have a look at this file in the first column you can see the inode number in the second one the permissions are there while in the third column you will find the number of links only one link is available there now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a link or the hard link of this file so i'm going to execute the ln command for the same ln command after the ln command i will mention the file name and then i will mention the hard link name suppose i'm using the name as hard link underscore 2 underscore cal dot txt and press enter so what this command will do this command will create a hard link for this cal dot txt and we can display the same by running the ls hyphen l command or if i want to display both the files i will simply execute ls hyphen li command here and here you will find that both files are actually using the same inode number means in original these two files are the same and now you can have a look at the number of links column that is the column number 3 and here you will find the number of links have now changed to 2 earlier it was 1 because now we can access this file either by using this name that is cal.txt or by using this name that is hard link to cal.txt and you can open or edit the file by either using by using either of these names and you will find the same data there in both because actually both the files are the same file both files are having the same inode so they will always have the same permissions and the same owner both files will have the same content actually both these files are equal meaning you can safely remove the original file the hard link will remain the inode contains a counter counting the number of hard links to itself when the counter dropped to 0 then the inode is emptied let me show you let me remove the original file and let me again execute the ls hyphen li command and you will find the file there with the other name and now the number of links will become one you can have a look at this and you will be able to go through the contents you can 
see the contents by using the second name that is the hard link to cal.txt in this way the hard link works in linux and you can use the find command to list all the hard link files in your system there after the find command you will mention the location and there you can use i num option for the same and after that you can mention the number and then it will display the files now i will talk about the symbolic links symbolic links are actually the shortcut the same shortcut which we create in windows suppose we create a shortcut on the desktop for any application same we can do with the help of the soft links in linux symbolic links sometimes called the soft link do not link to inodes but creates a name to name mapping symbolic links are created with ln hyphen s command now let me show you let me create the file with the name as cal.txt suppose i want to create the symbolic link so i will use ln hyphen s command and after that i can mention the name of the file and then the name of the soft link which i want to assign so i will write here symbolic link underscore two underscore cal dot txt so this will create the symbolic link if i will execute the ls hyphen li command i will find that both the files will use the different inode numbers here have a look at this this inode value is different and this inode value is different while in the file name we will find the name of the file that we are using as the symbolic link and after that the original file name is also written and in between we are using an arrow mark which is showing us that this file is actually a symbolic link or a shortcut to this original file so in this way we can create the symbolic links permissions on a symbolic link have no meaning since the permission of the target apply here hard links are limited to their own partitions symbolic links can link anywhere and it, here we can remove the symbolic link but if we will remove the original file that is cal.txt the symbolic link will not work let me show you let me first open the symbolic link file the calendar is visible and now if i will remove the original file and again i will try to open the symbolic link it will say no such file or directory and why because it was actually the shortcut to this original file now how can we remove the links to remove the links we can simply execute the rm command and we can delete the link file suppose i want to delete this link i will simply use rm command and after that i'll mention the name of the file or the link and press enter so this will remove the symbolic link from the machine so guys that's it from my side for today's session now i will request you to please go through the practice exercise given on page number 334 of the same pdf and you need to practice these questions at your own if you face some challenges you can go through the solutions provided on the next page that is page number 335 and you even you can ask me there on whatsapp group or in our telegram channel so guys thank you so much for joining i'll see you tomorrow again at 9 where i will teach you the process management take care bye bye good night and one more request if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel then you can do it right now and you can turn on the bell notification also